TRXS Environmental Sciences and Pollution Management, first log on to the University Portal, select the Resources tab, then the A to Z list of online resources link, choose E, and then select Environmental Sciences and Pollution Management from the list. ESPM is a very simple database to search. It's fairly unstructured, so you're mostly doing keyword searching. I'm going to look for articles on genetically modified food. So I'm going to break that down into two separate ideas, the genetically modified idea and the food idea. First I'll look for genetically modified and that is a phrase search. So I've put that in the double quotation marks to find those two words together and in that order. I have the option to limit my search by date range. So I'm going to select the last three years and click on search. To continue searching, I'll click on the advanced link at the top of the page there and I'll clear out the last search using the clear form link. So the next idea was the food idea. So I'll say food. I'm going to use the truncation symbol, the asterisk, to search for food or foods, foodstuff, so on. I'll say or to broaden out my search. Thinking of other words, I could say or crop and truncate that to find crop or crops or plant and a truncate plant to find plant or plants. Again I'll limit my search to the last three years and click on search. And I want to combine those two ideas, those two searches together. Every time I run a search the database saves it and at the top of the screen there's a link for the recent searches that I've run. I'm going to select the recent searches link. There's a genetically modified search and the food search and then in the box at the top I can combine my searches just using their set numbers. So I'm going to say 1 and 2 using AND to narrow the search, combine those two ideas together. I find 576 results from that combined search. On the right hand side of the screen there are various options for narrowing your results. So you can narrow your results by any of these options here. I'm going to use the database search to narrow my results by. ESPM is a database that's actually made up of a series of subfiles. So there's 11 smaller databases that make up ESPM and I can use that to limit my search. So I'm going to select the little expand database icon next to database and choose more options so I can see all the different databases listed. So there's ESPM, that's the whole database, that's the 580 results I found. But I can choose to search just within one of these subfiles. So for example, if I was interested in the ecological aspects of my topic, I could choose to only search for the subfile Ecology Abstracts. So I would select the Include tick box next to Ecology Abstracts and then Apply. So I'm narrowing my search down to only find those references that appeared in the Ecology Abstracts part of the ESPM database. And that finds only 57 results. You can see that's narrowed that down a lot and it'll be looking at the ecological aspects of the topic. Choosing to narrow by the database subfile allows me to set a broad subject area for my search. I'm going to look at the first record that I found. Select the highlighted article title. This gives me the full details of the record and provides the abstract, a summary of the article and then at the foot of the record, the database that this record came from, I'll just click on view the list and you can see it was in the Ecology Abstracts database which is also how I found this record. At the top of the record on the right there's the check web bridge button. To select a record, to mark a record, there's a little tick box on the left hand side next to the add selected items, tick the box and you see at the top it says I've now got one selected item on my list. To move to the next record, there's a little next link on the right hand side. So I could choose the next link and add this record to my selected items as well. Once I've gone through my records, selecting those I want to keep, I can click on the selected items link in the top right hand side. And then from here, I can email the records to myself, print them. And there's also the option to export or save the record. And if I select that option, you can see that RefWorks is one of the options. So I could export my records into RefWorks. To continue searching, I would just click on the search link in the top left hand side. 